that one of the agendas of your group is to unite the North. By uniting the North, mm. what areas of the North are you talking about? Because mm. in recent times, we have seen uh, the area usually referred to as North Central Nigeria mm -mm. saying we're not part of the North, we're no, Middle Belt. Not, not North Central, Middle Belt. Middle Belt is a religious connotation. It's a religious connotation? It is a religious connotation. Because there is no area in the North that has been demarcated and recognized either by our constitution or by any legal instrument that is regarded as middle belt. It's not there. I know people have been there. I can tell you one story, very interesting. I don't know if you have the time. I happened to be the secretary of Kano State Movement that is during the First Republic. So in 1967, when the federal government wanted to create a new state in the country, a 13 member committee was set up by the government of Northern Nigeria. I was invited to serve on that committee as a secretary of the defunct Kano State Movement. And we came, 13 members of us. Alonso Shagari was a member, late Nuba Mbomili was a member, late Edima Mamis was a member, and many others. One from each province at that time, 13 of us. And we came, we all agreed that. Let us consider this issue of Middle Belt. As the Shah, who is still there, he was a former leader of opposition in Northern House of Assembly. He was a part of the committee. So we said, okay, tell us what is the definition of, what is the area that should be, should constitute the Middle Belt. Then he put Niger province, Ilorin province, Kaba province, Blatu, Benue and the rest of them. And to your surprise, and to my surprise at that time, each and every one of the areas he mentioned, with the exception of two, Benue and Plateau, rejected uh, the concept of Middle Belt. So now, this is the reason why when trust state structure was to be introduced, Benue and Plateau were merged into Benue Plateau State. They couldn't even develop a different name for them. They call them Benue Plateau State. Now, others were grouped together, Katana and Kaduna, Sokoto, Niger, uh, that's the old uh, arrangement. So now, the first group to break up was Benue Plateau. Virtually, the majority of them are Christians. They are contiguous to one another, and yet they rejected it. They, they accepted it in the first place, but after a few years, they decided to break away from each other. Because some people will say that in the political calculation, these states are not accepted as northern states. You know, they're only accepted when it is time for the elections and their votes are no, needed. No, 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 but no. in terms of calculations, in terms of appointments and things like that, no, they no. have held the short end of the stick because they're not considered core northern states. Most of the northerners who served as a sub-state were from those here. Gawan, before Gawan, Tafa Baleo, Babangida. Tafa was from Bauchi? From Bauchi, well, he's, not, he's part of the area they are claiming. But because he's a Muslim, they don't put his name there. But he came from the area there. He was from the south. You didn't talk about Bauchi when you talked about Benue Plata? I said southern Bauchi, southern Adama. In fact, the rest of them go to the area they demarcated as their area. But in each area, they make sure that areas of uh, people with uh, Christian religion are included. Go to, to Kebi State. Take the geography of Kebi, Kebi State, the number of local governments, and see how come that Zulu will be uh, described as part of Middle Belt. So on what in, basis? In, in your estimation then, yes. I mean, do you think that your mission is going to be impossible if you already see the differentiation, if you already see this demarcation in the area of religion? Well, uh, it's not me. Mm -hmm. It's they who are putting it. And I've observed it. Even in the MPN days, there was a meeting of Middle Belt group. 
أول إبراهيم governor of Niger State, first I think elected, elected governor of Niger State, was not allowed to attend that meeting. Olusola Saraki, who was the leader, of the MPN leader in the Senate, he was not allowed to, to attend the meeting. The, 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 the governor of, of uh, Kuala State at that time, Adamata, who happened to be a Muslim, will not be invited to that meeting. There was, in fact, a time when a meeting of the group was invited. And a former governor, that was in Jaws, a former, former governor of Kwara, heart of the, deputy governor, I'm sorry, deputy governor of Kwara, heart of the meeting. He went, he took the trouble, he was resident in Kano then, but he came from uh, old Kwara, now Kogi State. He went to the meeting in Jaws, mm. and he announced his arrival. They uh, did not allow him to take part, this, because he's a Muslim. I'm wondering, you say you're setting out to unite the North. Yes. Are these areas you've talked about, these areas, you talk about Middle Belt being a religious connotation. My point is, are, are you also considering these areas as part of the areas you're trying to unite? Certainly. But I'm not saying I am the one giving it the connotation. It is the people who are now talking of Middle Belt. That is the area. That, that is the people who, the number, the type of people who are talking about uh, religion. I'm how many, how many Christians were in your delegation to see? Uh, there, 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 there's some Christians there. How you didn't many see them? Them? You didn't see Maku? Do you, do, you, do you have to count the number of Christians that you are taking to? You see, we invited people. You don't think those kinds of things are important? The deputy secretary of the group is a Christian from Plato. He was invited. Unfortunately, as he was coming, he lost somebody. Mm. Remember uh, his family. He couldn't go. You know, so I want to ask you, when you look at... If, all, if you can mm -hmm. give me one minute. Sure, please. I've been in this business for over 60 years. I know whether Christian or Muslim. Northerners can only get what they are looking for if they act together, if they work together. We have about 55% of the total population of Nigeria. That, take it that out of that 55, 10, 50, or even 20 are Christians. Without those Christians, the North cannot claim to have 45%. The 15, 20%, without the other 35, 40%, cannot claim to be Northerners. They cannot claim anything for the North. So it is rubbish for any northerner to think of excluding any northerner. I've never dreamt of that. You know, when we look at the diversity of groups that are emerging, and it seems like uh, they're really finding their voice as we head to the election. I know you've said that the 2019 election is not on the agenda of the NLSA, yes. but why is it, if the election is not part of, uh, if there's no partisan interest, no uh, interest in the election forming part of the program, mm -hmm. why is it that groups like the, AC, uh, the EACF and the NEF are insufficient to be able to voice the, 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 the needs of the people of the North. In the first place, I need to let you know that right from the day ACF was formed, I was one of the three members representing Kano State in the Board of Trustees of that organization till today. My other two colleagues, my Thomas William Magai Dabata died, but I'm still a member of Board of Trustees. The, when the election was approaching, previous election, long before uh, the last one, the leadership of ACF said they were not political, and therefore the political issues would not be di discussed. As a result of that, the group of my Thomas Angu and the rest of them broke away and put uh, Northern Elders Forum, but they endorsed Buhari uh, candidate. We did not endorse Buhari. And because of that, we formed Northern uh, Elders Council. We supported Jonathan on the principle of North-South-South collaboration. We have not succeeded. So the matter died down. But now we are thinking of, look, let us forget about all this. Let us get a pan-Northern organization. This organization, after consolidating its position, will reach out to the South. Look for like minds, because we cannot live in isolation. 
we are part and parcel of Nigeria. We have to talk. I was talking to a leader from the South South yesterday, and we are talking of how we will meet and discuss how we can collaborate and so on. So it is a matter that time, when it comes, will take us to our compatriots in the southern part of the country.